Hi friends, in this lecture, we will see how to create Scott schema in Oracle database. As part of Oracle 12C, if you install 12C, we do not see Oracle schema. But Oracle has already provided those SQLs how and we can execute those SQL files to create the Scott schema along with EMP DEPT tables. And as part of our future sessions, we are going to utilize those tables to write our select queries. Right, now let's see how we are going to create the Scott schema along with the tables. Right, before moving on to creating a Scott schema, let's see what are the users available in my database and make sure Scott schema is not available in this particular user. Let's try to execute this piece of query to see what are the list of users available in our database. And if you can see here, I do not see any Scott schema here. Right, so I have totally 38 users are available here, but I do not see Scott schema. So once we just got created our schema, that should go to 39, that has to show 39 users. Right, okay. Now, once you got installed your Oracle database, there should be one home directory. Just go to that particular home directory. Under the home directory, we have a folder called RDBMS. Under RDBMS, we have a folder called admin. Under the admin folder, you can see a SQL file called scott.sql. Let's see here. So if you can see here, there's a SQL file called scott.sql. If you can open this SQL file. So this is the SQL file. It has some commands. And this is the starting of the command to create your user Scott along with the password tiger. Then if you can scroll down, you can see table names here. See here, it's creating table department. Then it's creating a table EMP. Post that, it is trying to executing insert queries to insert the data, right? Now we are going to execute this SQL file to create Scott schema along with the tables. So for that, we are going to use a batch file. So here we need to pass a command SQL plus. So the SQL plus, it accepts some parameters. So first we have to provide the username. Make sure this user must have administrative privileges else you can pass your system user then we have to pass the respect to user password. Then make sure you must mention at the rate. Then we have to mention our database name. So SQL plus iPhone as username slash password at the rate database name. Then we have to provide the SQL file available path along with the file name. Make sure we have to mention the at the rate before you were path. Okay, now let's try to save it. This was already saved in my desktop. And this is my CMD file. And make sure you how to save this one with dot CMD extension. Now let's try to execute this CMD file. So just double click on this one. And see here that got executed. So let's see from one by one. First it has created a user and granted some permissions and then it just alter the user for the table spaces then it is trying to drop in the table department but the table was not available that's why it's throwing another then it got created dept table so whatever the number of commands we have in this particular sql file those commands will go ahead and execute it right now let's try to go back to our SQL and execute uh, this particular command again. So this is 38 earlier. Right. And just scroll down uh, whether the score schema is got created or not. And if you can see here, 
my score schema is just got created. Okay, now let's try to create a connection in the SQL developer for score schema. To create your connection, just click on this symbol here. So I'm providing connection name as Scott. So my username is uh, Scott only and password is Tiger. So make sure that is going to be case sensitive. Now click on service name, provide your database name or CL. I'm saving my password here. Just try to test your connection. It got succeeded. Now just try to connect to our Scott schema. Right, we just got connected to Scott schema. Now let's see whether the tables got created or not. To see the tables, if you can see the Scott connection, and if you can see left side, there's a plus symbol. Just try to expand it. And if you can see here, tables, just expand tables. There you can see list of all the tables available in this particular schema. If you want to see them via query, you can write a query, select start from tab. This piece of code will provide the list of tables available in the Scott schema. So either you can see like this or from the SQL developer, you can see like this. So for our future sessions, we are going to use these four tables, mainly department and EMP tables uh, to write our seller queries. Thank you guys.